Hey guys, Dante2, back for more Let's Play Dust and Elysium Tale. Last time, uh, we decided we're gonna start an avalanche. And today, uh, we're gonna keep trying to do that. And all of a sudden, this is way harder when I have to juggle three of them between me. Although, to be fair, it's still not that difficult. They're just kind of removing Fidget. Okay, now I can finally do some damage. Oh, thank you. That is a lovely singing voice. Stop, Fidget. Just stop. Oh, I think I'm coming down with something. That's what we've been saying. Yes. It is. We figured that out on our own. Come, Dust. Let us continue. Uh. I figured up by the end of the game we'd get an explosive attack to be able to deal with these walls. Just whatever. Oh, hey, freebie. Second more sweater I have. Give me the bomb, please. Oh, wow! That definitely did something. Come on, let's get back oh, to the shit. Be careful, Dust. I sense a powerful presence has been stirred by your actions. Uh oh. Let's not keep it waiting, then. Is it a bombable snowman? Is it a yeti? Is it a crab yeti? Oh, come on. Come on, I, I need one of you guys to get over here so you can step on the thing and release the thing. To kill them eventually. Hey, you know, you can use that cooler of yours to transport Bopo Snow down from the mountain. All right, give me a second. Great, that should keep it cold for Bopo. I'll be sure to give it to him if we ever find ourselves back in Mudpot. Sweet. All right. Bus ready. And I did the auto save, so we're good to go. Yeah, that is a pile of snow. The path above has been made clear. Onward and upward. And you thought this was a bad idea. <laughs> hey, if we're doing it, it's an idea that will at least probably work. Or lead to an idea that definitely will. Huh, interesting. Oh god, I have a feeling I know what we're gonna do for this. Oh, no, I was wrong. I was wrong. I thought we were gonna have to jump over the snow and onto a platform, but we gotta hide under the lip. And since I took so long, I might as well wait for the next round. Or see if it's time or location based. It appears to be location-based, like it's going to trip every time I get to a certain point. 
This one we gotta go up for. Ha. Oh my god, the background is so pretty. Nope, that is... That, I should have stayed up there. Luckily, I'm invincible when I get hit. Your two foot high jumps will be your downfall. Or my two foot high jumps, whatever. The chest eye walls, they shall block it for me. defense. I think I actually mashed that too fast. Come to me, stuff. Aha, you are now with a, mean, a meager normal enemy.
Okay, since I, since I don't have enemies that can teleport, I think that's definitely time to go back to fire and stick with it. Oh, bunnies! Bunnies, go away. It's a horrible battle happening here. Hourglass? What the hell does that mean? Oh, so are you just gonna sit there and let me? Yeah, you are. Some phantom hourglass? What the hell is going on? game I've considered doing, but just trying to do the touchscreen controls with a mouse and keyboard is gonna suck. Because I don't have a capture 3DS. Or DS. Hello there, sir. Oh god, that, that's a dead end. Which means I gotta do something over here with this... ...thing. Anything? Did anything from the, the, the reaction of the thing. No? Hmm. Interesting. So I've got the slide, I've got the jump. I'm just trying to think of what abilities I have. Wait a minute. I can just go up from here, can't I? I totally can. Ignore me and my stupidity. At least I figured it out fast. Better than I normally do. I want to talk about it. It killed them. It didn't kill me. I survived. Because I have invincibility frames and they, they do not. Okay, ride the carousel all the way up this time. Carousel Ferris wheel. Also, it was trying to kill me again. These floating platforms need to decide whether they're on my side or against me. Pendant of the Marsh. Four regen, 100 attack. Four regen, 100 defense. Buried in a poisonous swamp for hundreds of years. Ah, I need more things from the Minotaur fuckers. I've seen them drop that before. You, you will do. I really like the music. I'm really liking this music. Oh, I got it. Simple. Once we get to more stable ground, I will fight you, puppy. Okay, stay around. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, my health. 
I have so much health. I've been leveling up a lot, which I guess is good. It means I'm keeping pace with stuff at least. Frozen blade. Oh, hi. That's that's a that's a mighty lot of damage. And I can make it. Let's see, let me just make let me just make sure. 1.4 times. And yeah, that is a that is like an unholy upgrade. Woo wee! <laughs> Wait, I was saying before Aura was Aura looked like he was glowing differently. That might actually be like a physical change to be depending on my augment. Or I might be crazy. I might be crazy. Oh hi puppy. I guess you didn't come up here and fight me. A wise decision. I cannot blame you for choosing the path of life. perplexed by what that hourglass was. Will you get some kind of time power later? Ow. Sweet. I'm really liking the puzzles they've been doing with the uh, falling the uh, falling falling uh, pathways. They've been really, cr they've been decently creative up until this one. I wouldn't say like super creative. But yeah, like all of the this area is so good. It's so well designed. It's 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 getting creative in the right ways without being annoying. Please don't, please don't be deaf. Please don't be deaf. <laughs> this entire place just skis me out because... It's just like, I'm going to take you into spikes now. Oh, this was the way back, wasn't it? Yeah, it totally was. Although, it looks like there was something else up there. Here we go. Get them, my children. By children, I mean bullets. What's under here? Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Wait for this to come down. And then we're gonna squeeze in between the spikes. That wasn't it, but with this insane conveyor belt maze, I was actually kinda hoping it wouldn't be it. Alright, we're gonna wait for the next one back. Because there's there is there was an entire other section to the right I saw. That is just right for exploring. We had a bit of a short episode last time. I misjudged my clock, so we're going to go a little bit long this time around.
Ow. Don't do that. Look at all the pretty sparklies. I do find that interesting that she just kind of like, if, if you're still mashing while she's doing that, they'll just kind of like explode outwards. Yeah, looks like Spike Def down there. Alright, what do we got? That's not it. There is still more here. Maybe that's not Spike Death down there. I'm not on the other side. No, that's Spike Death. That being said, I want to see if over here... Oh, that's, that, that's a wall. Why didn't you make that visible? make the wall just a barrier at the edge of the screen where I couldn't see. It's kind of a dick move, guys. Now, there's one last thing. I think uh, if we try and jump off the platform on the way back, it'll get us somewhere. This entire room is great. Okay, so after these spikes, this platform... Ha! Ah. Success. Stop it. Warrior spend it. Times 1.2 attack, so that increases my attack. Times 1.2 defense, that's a slight drop to my defense. Times 1.2 fidget. How much does this one give me for fidget power? Wait, did I ever make... I didn't make the swamp I am at what? That's right. Because I don't have the materials for it. I don't have the materials for this one either. Attack times 1.2. Okay, so that's 870. One second. Okay, so according to my calculator, um, the attack increase from the Warrior's Pendant is... It's it's literally one point difference from the Swamp Pendant. But obviously a 1.2 multiplier will increase as our attack increases, so... Uh, we want to get on this as fast as possible, but... Wait a minute, we need to find ourselves a shop. I forgot. We don't have to grind things. We're not a chump. I'm sorry. Pokemon has been making me, like, go through hell grinding lately. Although, this doesn't give me a regen. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Either way, I need to grab stuff. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the other one because I want my regen. But yeah, Pokemon has been making me go through some hell grinding lately. And, uh, yeah. I kind of forgot. We don't have to do that in this game. Because Sun and Moon is really stingy with its hold items. If you don't know where to look. That being said, learn to overcome by learning where to look. And by that, I mean there are much laxes with 100% leftovers drops. So yeah, have fun! God knows I did. call that a spoiler. It's not anything specific to the game. I think Munchlax has always had a 100% drop rate for uh, that item. Up we go. Never mind. We need bombs. Ow. <laughs> I 
world on Earth is this madness. Next time, um, go away, please. Smack. Okay, so, next time, um, we continue up the mountain. See you guys then.